um, we try to do when we do our car camping is have everything organized, everything work well, all your systems, and, and trust me to, to even for new people getting into car camping or getting into camping period, you're going to develop systems at one point in time to help things move along better. Now, with that said, one of the problems I was running into is I had a good, I've got a good cooler. The downside is, is it's taller than my tonneau cover, so I was having to unleash the tonneau cover every time I pulled the cooler out. And I know that may sound a little petty, but at the same time, when you're on the road or on the go, and you just need to grab the cooler, um, it's nice to be able to just grab it, pull it out, and not have to open the tonneau cover. So, I measured my height on the tonneau cover, as far as the opening with the tonneau cover down, and figured out what size cooler I needed, and started the cooler shopping. So, with all that said, we'll come back, I'll show you the cooler. Okay. So, I'm going to show you the cooler that I got for car camping now. To open the tailgate up. It's one of the Igloo Max Cold 5-day camping or camp cooler. It's a 50 quart, 47 liters. It's got the little pop latch here. It does have a spot if I wanted to put a basket in here. I just got to measure for the basket. Um, the other cool thing I like about it, if any of these latches or stuff breaks, I can purchase them. Uh, it does have the screw style plug so you're not losing your drain plug to drain down your water. It does not have wheels on it, which I'm fine with. It does have nice rubber grip handles, um, nice sturdy top. Uh, but the best part is it fits right in there and I don't have to take the tonneau off. So that's the main purpose behind this cooler is not having to take the top off. And it's not that large, but it's a good size inside. So it'll work for car camping. And I'm not opening and closing the tonneau cover every few minutes just to get the cooler and everything. Just slide out on the tailgate, get what you got to get, put it back. Um, so... The other one I have is an igloo, but it's a roll around chest type. Um, it just it won't fit under here without opening the tonneau cover, and I want to wanted to eliminate that altogether. The other thing too is I can slide this in here. Hey, I get some new bungee cords. These are all shot, but I can latch the bungee cord on it. If it slides back, I can pull it back. But uh, yeah, that's just part of trying to keep it. Um, where it all slides under the tonneau cover. I can pretty well load my truck without opening the tonneau cover as far as for car camping. Put my tent, all my stuff that I take with me camping in the back of the truck without opening that tonneau cover. And not like I said, it's just wear and tear that you don't have to do on the tonneau cover if you can just slide everything out from under it. Um, so anyway, you'll be seeing this in the next few car camping trips when it cools down. Today is 100 and I think 110 heat index. I'm not car camping in that stuff, guys. Not happening. Not happening. Anyway, I hope uh, that helps out. And that's one of the things, you know, I had to look at. I don't have Yeti money, so I didn't get a Yeti. Uh, this cooler, I think, it was even on sale at the Academy. I'm wanting to say we only paid like a little over $30 for it. But it's a good solid cooler. I mean, I think it's gonna do exactly what I want. It'll keep the stuff cold. It's pretty thick on the inside. Um, and like I said, I've got the availability of putting a basket in here, keep meats and stuff up out of the water. So anyways, guys, that's short and sweet. Um, I'll try to leave the informa information on this cooler down below so you can check it out yourself. Um, so there you go. It holds 17 of your nicest beverages. 72, yeah. Or whatever else you want to hold. All right, guys. That's it for this one. Appreciate you watching. Be prepared. Mm -hmm.